I can talk to you right now. Can I call you back? Yeah, okay. Bye. Hi, everybody. Yeah, I have my phone with me even right now when I have a TED Talk to present. What do you think? Why did I answer it? Wrong, I'm not crazy. Let's put away jokes for some time. Yeah, most of you probably guessed it right. Today, my speech is all about phones. More specifically, their influence on conversations. It's funny how time has changed that you're watching me on Zoom Live right now, probably with your phones. Well, I'm not going to bore you speaking about the importance of phone existence because even today's picture showed us that without phones and in general without technology, it would be impossible to go through this hard period of time. But what my concern is, is that their existence has affected the ways of communicating quite unfavorably. I believe that the monotonous way that the pandemic brought us, meaning online schooling and online meetings, made us all realize how important face-to-face -face conversations actually are. However, looking back, I remember hanging out with my friends and checking my phone every minute. To be honest, it has always made me wondering, how did checking phone become one of the most common habits in not only mine, but generally in people's lives? I'm pretty sure all of you have experienced the following action, hanging out with your friends and checking your phone every single minute, even when there's no new notifications for you. Am I right? Well, of course I am. While we never actually paid attention to this minor tendency, now we're all exhausted of seeing each other on mobile screens and we crave for gatherings. Today, phone is secondary and we are ready to meet each other, even if it takes leaving the gadget at home. According to scientists, people check their phones 96 times a day, which is once every 10 minutes. Well, undoubtedly, that's an awful result because checking phone is just the first step that takes us to the adventure called wasting time, usually ending up by scrolling through social media and getting nothing but hatred and negativity, right? Us people are so dependent on our mobiles, I would even say we're addicted to using them. Let me give one super funny, but unfortunately super common example of how it can distract us from reality. How many of you have experienced the following action? Like when you're holding your phone or you have it in your pocket or on the table next to you and for no reason you just start looking for it. Well, let me guess all of you. I remember a month ago or so, I was video chatting with my friends and for God knows what reason, I started looking for my phone because I thought I left it somewhere or lost it. And yeah, I even asked my friends to call me because well, they would help me find it, but they thought I was joking because they knew I was speaking to them. They even started laughing at me, but I was so concentrated into finding it that I didn't even pay a single attention to them. And yeah, just kept looking for it. Only after 15 minutes did I realize that I had it in front of my face this whole time. So why didn't bring it up? It just shows how it can distract us from reality, that our number one priority is phone, and our mind has, a, has it as a code that we should always check and we should always be holding it, and when we don't feel that it's somewhere near, we just no more feel secure. And that's quite unfortunate than funny, because I myself have loved a lot seeing my parents or my friends going through the same thing, but yeah, what it does is just take our full attention. So, in general, it's quite hard to listen to a person so attentively that you don't miss a word they say. In my perspective, that's even impossible. We usually get the whole idea of a story even if we don't hear every word the person in front of us says. But what makes the process even worse is when we get distracted because of a phone. So it appears that we don't usually appreciate enough the quality and the concept of the following process, I mean communicating. And in order to get the maximum quantity of emotions and idea correctly, we should be fully concerned on a person because even their body speaks. Like even right now, you're watching me online and I'm pretty sure none of you paid attention to the way I move, the way I speak. However, I can assure you if you were sitting in front of me right now, you would start noticing and understanding my facial expressions, my hand gestures, the way I talk, the way I move. We would make eye contact and there would be a better connection between us as the audience and the speaker. Now let me remind you that mobiles are the accessories we always have near us, even when we're on important meetings or cinemas or theaters. And the funny thing is that everyone is able to call us or text us anytime they want. And what do we do? Answer our phone calls, just like I did in the beginning. So the speaker usually gives us a choice to make, take it or leave it, but we normally, as I already mentioned, answer it, right? Uh, well, what it actually shows is disrespect to the person, which we never realize. And even if the speaker is kind enough to continue whatever they were talking about, we just get confused because we won't remember the concept of what was being discussed. So what should we do about it? To be fully concerned on a uh, person and uh, to be fully involved into conversation. Turn on airplane mode on? 
Well, when it comes to some place that needs the audience to be silent, such as cinemas or theaters, that's probably what we should do, though we never do it either, right? But when it comes to family meetings or hanging out with friends, well, I don't think that's something any of us would do, even if it was the right way to avoid distraction. Like, taking photos and videos are actually quite important for, for a human being, like, to collect memories and to have fun, right? Um, but we must realize that there are, like, more important things, such as relationships, and uh, in order to make our time worthwhile, we should be fully involved into conversation. But let's just ask this question to ourselves. What do you prefer, hearing someone knocking at your door, asking them in, having dinner together, or hearing your phone ringing and communicating that way? Well, of course, meeting in life brings more fun and excitement to us. We do activities that give us the opportunity to make our time worthwhile. And when it comes to phones, I, I don't think online games and funny folders are, are enough for a human being to feel glad and amused, are they? Look, I've got some pictures of my classmates falling asleep while video chatting. Well, that's how exhausting it can be. So when we have a chance to have live communications, I think we should be fully involved into it. And we shouldn't waste our time, so it will leave us with better emotions and we will have more fun and so on and so on. Now let's discuss today's situation. What do teachers or students prefer? Like online schooling or the light one? Well, I don't think we actually need to answer this one. Speaking as a student, traditional learning teaches a lot more than just uh, school subjects, such as relationships in general. Walking school hallways, having lunch together, having daily conversations, and even helping each other on some of tests. Well, these are the things that don't seem important at one glance, but if you think about it, this creates the bright environment and unique relationships between classmates. And same comes with teachers, like they get closer and closer every day. And online schooling, well, let me give a personal example. Like, I've got two new classmates, and our students haven't even met them yet. To be honest, it's quite hard to call someone your classmate when you haven't even sat in a room or gave each other the glance to give a hint for an answer, for example. Well, it might sound funny, but that's kind of the same when it comes to life in general. If we weren't able to meet each other in life, we would be locked in our imaginary world covered with mobile screen and yeah, life would be just tedious without, we wouldn't be able to hear each other's exact voice, how we love, how we speak, how we cry, and so on and so on, and we would live our lives just like robots. And when we have a chance to make our times and relationships maximally worthwhile, I strongly believe we should put our phones aside, respect each other, and that way, like, life, would be, life will just be better, right? And that will literally brighten up our relationships as well. So thank you for your attention, and I hope you got the idea correctly.